dear student as we all know that one of the most severe uh, complication of uh, or side effects of nsaids or non steroidal anti inflammatory drug is acute kidney injury now we want to know what is the pathophysiology of this that is how actually this nsaids can cause the acute kidney injury now to know this we have to know two things one is uh, that uh, how the kidney functions that is how the glomerular filtration rate it is affected what are the factors that regulate the gfr and the second thing is that how the nsaids they act what is the mechanism of action of non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs if we know these two things it is very easy to uh, understand what is the pathophysiology of acute kidney injury by nsaids now glomerular filtration rate or gfr it is affected by glomerular filtration force this the equation of this uh, filtration force is it is kf into the pgc that is the hydrostatic pressure of the glomerular capillary minus pb that is the hydrostatic pressure of the bowman's capsule so this is the hydrostatic pressure of the glomerular capillary this special uh, pressure is actually helping the filtration so filtration means it is helping the function of kidney okay whereas this pressure <coughs> is negated against this uh, glomerular hydrostatic pressure acting the glomerular uh, hydrostatic pressure of the bowman's capsule minus the there will be pi gc pi gc is the oncotic pressure of the glomerular capillary so we can see the direction of the pi gc also so pi gc is also uh, preventing the uh, filtration and minus pi b this pi b can be taken as a zero because we know that almost all proteins are entrapped by the glomerular capillary so there will be no plasma protein present in the uh, bowman's uh, capsule so the uh, oncotic pressure of the bowman's capsule it can be uh, taken as zero so the net equation will become kf into pgc that is the hydrostatic pressure of the glomerular capillary minus the hydrostatic pressure of the bowman's capsule minus the oncotic pressure of the glomerular capillary okay so it is like this where kf is the glomerular filtration coefficient it is a product of glomerular surface area into the hydraulic conductivity okay so now this we can from this equation it is clear that pgc or hydrostatic pressure is the main pressure that will help the filtration okay now what are the factors can that can affect this pgc if we can increase the renal blood flow okay so that will also that can increase the glomerular capillary hydrostatic pressure so if we can increase the renal blood flow how can we increase the renal blood flow either by dilating the afferent arterial so more blood will come or we can also cause the constriction of the efferent arteriole so what will happen there will be more pressure difference between afferent and efferent arteriole so more blood will flow in this way and the filtration will uh, increase so pgc or glomerular capillary hydrostatic pressure it can be increased by increasing renal blood flow by these two methods now come to the mechanism of action of in nsaids or non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs we all know that from the membrane lipid membrane phospholipid with the help of phospholipase a2 there will be formation of arachidonic acid arachidonic acid with the help of this cyclooxygenase enzyme it may be cox1 or cox2 it will form the prostaglandins there are several Uh, forms of prostaglandins prostaglandins i2 prostaglandin e2 thromboxane a2 prostaglandin h2 among them the prostaglandin e2 is a potent vasodilator okay now what is the function of nsaids nsaids 
actually it prevents or blocks this cyclooxygenous pathway okay both the cox1 and cox2 it both will be it is actually non selective enzymes uh, they will block uh, both cox and cox2 and some selective blockers are also present which will only block the cox2 okay so if this block is there that means there will be reduced secretion of prostaglandin okay so what is the main function of non steroidal anti inflammatory drug it will reduce the synthesis of prostaglandin as i have already told you if i want to increase the filtration or filtration force i have to increase the uh, glomerular capillary hydrostatic pressure that i can increase either by increasing the renal blood flow and this renal blood flow can be increased either by vasodilatation of the afferent artery or vasoconstriction of the efferent artery now this vasodilatation of the afferent artery is mostly done by the prostaglandin e2 okay so when you are using non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs that reduces the prostaglandin that means this vasodilatation of the afferent artery it is affected so the normal when the kidney injury uh, is uh, about to happen so there will be so many compensatory mechanisms will be active in our body our body will try to prevent this injury by means of increasing the filtration rate one of this auto regulatory mechanism is the dilatation of the afferent artery and it is done by prostaglandin e2 and if the prostaglandin e2 or prostaglandin is blocked or blunted by enzymes so this pathway will be totally inhibited so the scope of increasing the renal blood flow will be less and the filtration will also be low and it will be affected so this is the main important pathophysiology by which the